Hey everyone, in this video we are featuring Tier 10 Italian Tank Destroyer Minotauro and it is also the first and the only time I was able to get a Colobanos in this tank. I almost kind of forgot to record this game as you can see the game started at 13 and a half minutes approximately as opposed to 15 but I was still able to capture enough of it. So I'm going to the J3 position but I've, on my way there I do manage to spot a Type 5, put a shot into him and uh, the tank does have decent camera as you can see i'm not really spotted there are some bushes between me and the the type and i put a second shot into the 60 tp as he was unlucky where he backed up and blocked my shot for type but uh, i do ended up penning him m46 gets spotted I put a shot into him so so far like decent game but our team is kind of losing so let's talk about this tank so the tank has standard ap decent shell velocity 1300 meter per second Heat is um, not that shell velocity, bad shell velocity either. Usually heat has bad shell velocity, but for this tank it's 1250-ish. So I only have heat loaded because uh, I'll get the benefit of extra pen and don't lose much on the shell velocity. So it's kind of the obvious choice. I do have two clips of HE as HE does 700 damage as opposed to your 580. The tank has a long interclip or 7.5 seconds as you saw when I was un unloading my first clip so not your traditional auto loader it is basically like a single shot tank that fires every eight seconds for five shots and then you reload for 20. so the tank as i said longer interclip but shorter reload time the tank has the, the best turret and upper hull armor when you're hull down only exposing your turret you will not get penned might get still get penned by like a very high TD, but it's still they have to hire roll on in their pen, and um, and you'll you'll see it in this game. I pushed over since our team kind of gave up all map control like they do most of the time. I do manage to pick my first kill E75, who wasn't really paying attention to me. They do have artillery, and uh, I was hoping our light might spot artillery and I can finish him, but our light died before. Yag was staring at me, but I was not really too worried. I had faith in, um, in my turret and picked up my second kill. Score currently is uh, 5v7. I do see a T58 and uh, finished him as well, bringing the score to 5v6. Now, at this point, you would be like, oh, it's going to be a close game, right? Why would it be Colabanos? It's a 5v6. But your team can surprise you. Whenever you rely on your team, they will let you down. They will just drive and die. But if you're not relying on your team, then your team do, will do really well. And this is one of the scenarios where your team or my team is just going wild. But luckily, their bat 12T fell from that bridge. And... Uh, now I have one less tank to worry about, especially a light, because lights are fast, can get around me. And uh, it's just annoying. Leopard pushed into 60 TP for no reason and died. 60 TP is charging me, and as you can see, the tank, the, this tank is good at what it's supposed to do, but what it's supposed to do doesn't really, it doesn't get the opportunity to do that very often. The tank is uh, 10 degrees gun depression, great at hull down, you know, good to heat pen. A longer into clip, but uh, as I said, this played like a single shot TD with 8 seconds of reload. But in our current meta, there's like too many AT tanks. Ruthless, AVRE, obviously we have the old Dead Stars. So it doesn't get a chance to kind of play Haldown in most situations, not to mention our r rapid fire artillery that we have. I do manage to finish 60 TP and I'm trying to kind of get into a position where I don't get circled by EBR. As I'm also getting targeted by artillery. I did get lucky that the M60 also probably fall off the bridge, bringing the score down to 1v3. You know, sometimes you cap out to get a call and sometimes you do need a little luck, right? It's not easy to win 1v5 and they're healthy. And in this game, I did get a bit lucky with the two of their tanks committing suicide. One was bad chat 12T and then the second one was M60. I7 is one shot so that is the good news. He seems a little bit confident as well. 
because sometimes when you're winning, right, you you get up more aggressive that as you think that the win is guaranteed. And that seems to be the case with I7. EBI do manage to pen me, but now he has he had exposed himself a little bit too much and I managed to pen EBR. Now he's one shot as well, but uh, artillery is focusing me for a while. He's not spotted. He is, I, my guess is that on two or three line, considering the shells. But I can't really change artillery because the EBR will just keep shooting me and then artillery can also just fire at me and then hide. So I decided to just stay there. It seemed pretty safe for me as I'm in a, or it seems safe at the time as I'm in the, on the railway track, there's like a dip, but I was not actually safe as that do managed to hit me. Decided to move out of this position and get to a better position, uh, get around the rock so I'm more safe because there's nothing I can do at this point. Like they have to come to me. I can't chase one of them because I'll end up dying. So I decided to do just you know, hide in a corner, hoping for them to make a mistake. The, the game was already kind of in my favor, right, when two of their tanks would fall off the bridge. So I was hoping another miracle to happen so that uh, I can get the magical medal, like the Colobanos. Do we all want, it's always exciting to get those rare medals like Colobanos pools, crucial contribution. And in this game, I did have an opportunity to get one. And as I said, mentioned, this is my first and the only Colobanos I got in this tank. Light tank was flanking, missed the shot, but I didn't. And now it's 1v1 and I can finally push the artillery. Artillery did fire at me, but missed the shot. And since it's an encounter, I was kind of confident that I'll just find the artillery and kill him. Because most of the time, these artillery players that usually focus me, they just stay at their spawn. So I was pretty confident. I'm like, yeah, I'll just go there. He'll be there. I'll kill him. So I just, uh, started my journey to find artillery. This is an encounter, so the only way we win or get Colomanos is if I kill the artillery or cap the base. Now, the smarter decision would be to cap the base. But uh, I thought I would have enough time to kind of check the C4 area. And then if the artillery is not there, I'll go back to the base. So the journey continues. I did load the AT shell because AT has uh, also good shell velocity, same as heat but higher off of 700. And as you can see, that's why I have like a two clip of AT or hash, I would say. I think you need one, one is enough. Uh, not sure when, why I had two at the time because this is an older video. When I was uh, grinding for the marks, but I think now if I have to set up the tank, I would just go with one clip of hash. The setup of the tank is listed in description, but um, I'll go over the equipment. So I have a camo net, vents, and optics. The tank does have decent camo and um, can kind of hold a corner, right? It won't get easily spotted, especially because it's a TD and have decent camo as well as the strong turret. But um, just because the tank is slow, most of the time you don't get to battle in time either your team is aggressive and they die or the enemy just doesn't push into you they ignore you kill the rest of their team your team and then you're kind of chasing damage so not not a not a very enjoyable tank for me just because of the speed as i said like it can do what it's supposed to do decent well but uh, this doesn't get up that, that opportunity because of our meta that it's fast you have more tanks with hash, as well as uh, the speed of game is just quick. So after unable to finding to find the artillery, I decided to go back to the base, hoping that I will cap in time. For some reason, I was under the impression that I only needed three minutes forty seconds to cap, as a, as I could see my hope of Colobanos diminishing. So I decided to just send it for the cap, hoping I'll make it in time. 70 seconds remaining. I have given up on finding, trying to find artillery. As he could be anywhere. He has speed. It's M50, 53, 55, and I can never catch him. So I can see the cap. Wanted to get into the cap so I can uh, get our precious metal. But 
I was a second too late, but only to realize the cap timer is 410. For some reason, I thought it's 340. I thought it's like 100 seconds for your standard base and then 200 for the encounter. But that was just an error on my part as the cap timer was 410. And I decided to begin my hunt for artillery again and also that I have basically thrown away a chance to get Colobanus. If I just came to cap from the very beginning, uh, after I killed the light tank, it would have been an easy win, easy Colobanus, but I was greedy or overconfident. And that's what you should never be, especially when you want a Colobanus. However, the artillery was peaking. If he just stayed behind, I would have never known that artillery is there. He made a mistake and he peaked and now is spotted. And finally, for the first time in a long time, I can see the color banners. I can see that I can finish the artillery. There's still more than two minutes remaining. I decided to poke on the right side first so that he doesn't run away because he could just run and go under the bridge and then I'll be in the same position I was like a minute ago. So making sure he doesn't escape. I do see something getting destroyed on the left side. So peeking on the left again. There is the artillery. I have Hesh loaded. Pend him for 662, low roll for a hash. He didn't do much damage as he hit the frontal part of my tank. And then finally the kill shot. And winning the 1v5 engagement. Regardless, the, the M60 did fell off, but I'm still happy that I got this medal. So that's it for this video. I did manage to do 8k damage. And I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.